spectacular. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. I'm being transported somewhere. As we all know, San Diego is a beautiful city and it does an incredible job about blending the old history and the brand new. I'm here to meet Jesse Salas and this place is sure to pack a punch. Jesse, I'm incredibly excited to be here. There's so much great stuff at this location. We are in East Village. Yes, we're in East Village, but we're actually in a particular district in East Village, Maker's Quarter. So probably the first time you've heard of Maker's Quarter. It's, yes, first yeah. time. <laughs> I guarantee you it's not going to be the last. Okay. So we're here with an amazing host today. Our host today is Jody here at Punchbowl Social. Hey. Thanks for having us. Yeah, Thanks for thank coming. You. Thank you. This place is absolutely incredible. Three years in the making? Roughly, yeah. And the cool thing is the building has been here for quite a long time. If you want to touch a little bit on the history. Sure. Um, this is the iconic and historic Coliseum. This is um, a boxing gym back in the 30s and heyday in the 40s and 50s. There are boxing records that are held in this building that still have not been beat today, wow. which is so cool. You can yeah. almost hear the crowd right? cheering yeah. and yeah. roaring. <laughs> you can, and that's kind of what lends to you know the open uh, openness of our building so that you can hear and, and feel that excitement. Yes. And so. it's a huge building, but you have done such an incredible job filling it and making every bit of it unique. So there's so much history you kept, and you said there was five elements, I believe? Yeah, so there's five elements to our design that we refer to as Dirty Modern. I love it. <laughs> dirty Modern, too. that's great. Yeah. <laughs> so good. Um, so the five elements that make up the decor within the building is you're walking around and noticing you'll never see a room that fits one. It all lends together. It is industrial, mid-modern, Victorian, old abandoned mountain lodge slash camp, and then the fifth element is our nod to the city. Okay. Not one of our locations ever looks the same because we always take a nod from our design to lend and be within the neighborhood and the city. Yeah. So this is, all of the decor is very unique to this building, to San Diego. You'll see that throughout the building, but there's a lot of boxing nods within wallpaper and decor that way. Um, San Diego with, again, wallpaper and fixtures and everywhere, everywhere you look, it lends to Let's just be honest, it's like the perfect Instagram. Really, it really is, it's an Instagram perfect. backdrop for yeah. photo after photo. I, I've seen it, and like you mentioned, there's so many subtle little uh, secrets, little yeah. hints here that lend to what was here. Like you mentioned, the boxing ring. The one I like, one of my favorites, was the sucker punch wallpaper. Yep. Something that <laughs> so you would cool. never think of. You'd look at that wallpaper and never think twice, but there's a meaning behind it, as there's a meaning with everything here. Yes. And then you'll see some of the original elements um, over by our front entrance. We have the original ticket booth and ticket windows. So that wasn't that's all natural to the building. I love this place because you can have a gathering of friends or even make friends because I feel like you can kind of migrate into something a little different and then, oh, we want to go up to the upstairs bar and every place lends its own unique style. Whether you want to sit by the fire or go karaoke, it's yeah. just an incredible place to be. Well, you mentioned you don't really have to bar hop because yeah, you're, you're here. You can be on this side of the location, yeah. and then all of a sudden you're on the other side, and there's something completely different with another bar for you. It's it's awesome. I love that. Really love that. Everything is here. And then we came in the main entrance, which is your diner. Yes. So you also have incredible food. You're yes. known for your food. Everything from gluten-free fried chicken. Which is, I love. Which is legitimately <laughs> gluten-free. So if you are celiac, we prepare it in separate oil in a separate area so that we can protect that. Um, from a our knockoff burger, which I'm just going to leave it at that. Okay. okay. You got to try it, though. The you got to try burger. it. Um, we did bring our Frito pie, which is made right in the Frito bag, because why wouldn't it be? I know. Um, that's so cool. Again, those subtle differences. Right, yes. that make all the difference in the world. They, do. Why they really do. Our scratch kitchen and craft beverage are the cornerstones of our business. 
we just keep you here, we refer to as the sticky factor that you don't leave. Yeah. Ooh, I like that. The yeah. sticky factor is our gaming and entertainment because you can have a great meal and some great craft cocktails and then instead of leaving and going somewhere else, you can wander and visit another bar or go bowl and have you know, pick up an activity or bring back a board game to your own dinner table and just play. Absolutely. And speaking so. of sticky factor, not only is it called Punch Bowl and you're in a boxing building, yes. Coliseum, but the Punch Bowl you mentioned also has five elements too. So yes. I don't think that that was by accident. No, no. <laughs> everything is kind of that play on words and piece to it, but um, Punch Bowl Social. So to give you a small history around that. Please. Um, in the Victorian times, that lends to our decor, you, you, your social events were around the punch bowl. And so, back in the Victorian days, that is where um, you came, so the five elements that create punch, and if it's not the five elements, it's not punch. It's not punch, it's okay, not punch. I, I know this. Yeah. So you have strong, weak, sweet, sour, and spice. Okay. So you gotta have those five elements to create a punch recipe. So, I mean, and it actually comes yeah. in like a, your grandmother's old punch bowl, yeah. right? And you serve with a ladle. Yes. That's just awesome. You've literally punch thought cups, of everything. Punch cups, punch bowl, whole deal. So Jesse and I, as we got to tour this place a little bit, have been racking our brains to maybe figure out a little friendly competition. I think it's time to have a little bout. I think so. Me and you. Let's, I'm ready. I'm ready if you're ready. Let's so do it. So thank you so much. We're going to explore this and have a little friendly competition. Love it. Thanks for having us. Thank you. Awesome. this morning. I could have swore I was in San Diego, but now I feel like I've been transported to Italy or somewhere in Europe. Tell me where we're at, Edith. We are actually at the Coronado Cays, and we are going to be speaking with the gondola company, the, well, on, the only gondola company in San Diego. Fantastic. Yeah. How did you come up with this amazing idea? I absolutely love it. Well, I had some uh, trips to Venice, Italy years ago, and uh, saw the gondolas, and Love the rowing and thought it'd just be a great idea to put a gondola right here in Coronado. Wow, I grew up in Los Angeles, so I'm familiar with the Long Beach experience. Uh, my cousin actually proposed to his wife that way, and I thought, I always wish San Diego had one, and come to find out, lo and behold, there's one right here in Coronado. Yeah, definitely. In fact, we've been here 20 years, and in that amount of time, we've seen quite a lot of proposals, too. So people come here, they take their loved one or their friends out for just 
a stroll around the Keys? Yeah, definitely. People come, you know, couples come on romantic dates or celebrating anniversaries or birthdays or a group of girls come out and six people on a gondola and just have a relaxing time or whatever. It doesn't have to be romantic, but uh, it can be if that's uh, your motivation. Now, Edith and I, earlier we were checking out your outfit. It's uh, <laughs> it's not like the usual, you know, water strolling out and about near the bay kind of outfit, or is it? I don't know. <laughs> uh, to me, it's the same thing I wear every day. <laughs> Black pants, striped shirt, and then of course we get the hat to keep, uh, keep the sun off our head. And now, is it symbolic of anything? Does it represent the Italian culture and uh, history? Yeah, in, in Venice, uh, years and years ago, um, there were basically two different groups or gangs. One gang would wear red and white stripes and one gang would wear blue and white stripes and they'd, they'd get on the bridges in Venice and uh, they didn't have railings and they'd have a fight and whoever ended up in the water was the loser. Oh my goodness. No well, fighting here. But, uh, <laughs> no fighting, just a lovely yeah, yeah. day out in the sun. Edith did wear her blue though, I will point that yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's good. That's such good. a beautiful color. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Well, I can't wait to experience it. I just feel like we need a glass of wine or something to just really enjoy the view. Is that something that people can experience when they go out on these boat rides? Oh yeah, definitely. So our customers will call and make a reservation or they can make a reservation online. If you want to bring your own bottle of wine, that's fine. We also have a, uh, a license to sell you wine here and some chocolate truffles from Eclipse Chocolate in uh, North Park. And, uh, so you get on board, you have a little bit of chocolate, a little bit of wine, you sit on the gondola for about 50 minutes. There's a little, some Italian music playing in the background and you're just transported to another world instantly. Well, fantastic. I cannot wait. I'm excited. Thank you for showing me this. Should we head out on the boat? Let's yeah, do let's it. do it. Let's do it. There we go. <laughs> Cheers, thanks for having me. It feels like we're on vacation. I feel like I'm in vacation mode. I just didn't realize anything like this exists in San Diego. I know, we're so lucky and so blessed, you know, to be in such a beautiful community. So Edith, here we are out enjoying the bay and the area here, but where are we going specifically? We are going to be going to go meet Remy Pirat. She's an agent, the expert of the Coronado Cays. We're going to be meeting with her. She'll be talking to us about how it's like to live in the Coronado Cays, and I'm so excited to be able to introduce you to her. Fantastic. What a way to travel in a gondola and arrive to a beautiful waterfront property. This is amazing. Yeah, it's not too shabby living here out in the Cays. Um, this is one of the many luxuries that we get to enjoy every day. When you say you sell homes, it's like, oh, okay, but these are the homes you're selling. This is the community that you're living in and it's like a vacation here. It is really like a vacation. It is a water lifestyle. I mean, anybody that lives here knows that they can be relaxed, they can do water sports, they can go on the boat, on the kayak. What a fantastic way to live life because most people just drive to and from, but here you can take your boat, your kayak like you mentioned, or your mega yacht, or your gondola. So interesting. Now Edith, um, is this community, has this community been around for a while? Actually, we just celebrated 50 years of the K's. Um, a couple of weeks ago, there was a big festivity celebrating 50 years of the K's. And the K's actually has a really interesting history. Um, before it became the, the K's that you see today, it was actually a hog farm. What? <laughs> it was also uh, the place where the Hotel Dell built the bricks back in the 1800s. So it's, it actually has a great history, but um, in the 1960s, they started dredging 
and so this is what this is what they created. There's about 10 communities here. Um, we've got about five clubhouses. We have six pools. We also have our own yacht club, which is amazing. Um, we're right across the street from the Silver Strand Beach. There's a 10 mile um, bike trail, running, biking. We also have our own dog park. I mean, it's our own little community nestled between the San Diego Bay and the Pacific Ocean. We've got retirees here, we have professionals, we have young families. Um, it's fantastic too because this is the only marina community just south of Newport Beach in San Diego in California. Who wouldn't want to be here? Interesting, yeah. So beautiful. And also we have beautiful parks. So my son actually comes to the K's twice a week and for soccer games on Saturday. And so a lot of recreation occurs here. Um, the beach is like literally a quarter of a mile away. So you can go in your golf car or you can go walking. It's just such a pristine, beautiful community that if you want to have the outdoor lifestyle, the Coronado Cays is a place to be at. I love it. Well, I might not leave. I'm just gonna say that. <laughs> but thank you so much for showing me and for welcoming us from our gondola. Yes, thank you for coming. on land off-roading and now I love it we're on water for another adventure yeah let's let's bring it back west you know <laughs> what I'm saying back in Mission Beach PB I mean Mission Bay Sports Center okay. we've done some fun stuff here we did the sea breacher uh -huh. I mean we did I did the jetpack that was awesome have you ever done it no you've done a lot of fun things without me I'm ready to have an adventure with you I know we're gonna do it today <laughs> how's that I'm ready so I mean PB obviously we're back here they have jet skis they have you know trampolines my kids loved it this summer okay. the best part about this place is that PB has bars restaurants pubs I mean some with views some without views but wait till you see the view that we have today I'm ready instead of looking at the water I'm ready to be on the water I like it okay. you want to head on out yes let's do this let's go come on <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to Paddle Pub. Hey, what's going on? Not much, how are you? Hey! Right. Okay, so a Paddle Pub, what? You bet, why not? <laughs> <laughs> There we go. You pedaling, Mark? I can't pedal. <laughs> These little skinny legs are getting it going. <laughs> All right, okay, I'm not mad at this. It's no. like, Fun yet a cycling yeah. workout at the same time. Uh, yeah, and the best part is, is like it's free wheel, so you can just hang out as well. Okay, you shouldn't have told me that. I can get used to this. I'm gonna go and oh, kick, up, on, my, girl, I'm gonna kick up my feet now. Uh, I'll keep you going. <laughs> All right, so tell me about this experience. Yeah, so on Paddle Pub here, uh, obviously, like you guys are doing, you guys uh -huh. can pedal power this thing. Okay. Each uh, of the 12 pedal stations operates in free will. All of them hit a drivetrain that operate the stern wheel in the back that propels the boat forward. Um, if you guys do get tired and want some assistance, I can turn on the outboard motor and assist you. Or if you guys just want to kick your feet up and relax the whole time, we can also drive you guys around the bay. There you go. <laughs> if, I get, if I get by the leg up. I don't think I can get my legs up there, girl. <laughs> Maybe the lower, lower level. <laughs> okay, cool. So people do this for how long? So we do two hour cruises starting at 10 a.m. in the morning, uh, running until 10 p.m. at night. There's two cruise options for you. If you guys want to rent out the whole boat, uh, you guys can. Seats up to 16 people. That's $600. If you guys uh, just have a couple people or you want to join uh, another group, have a uh, party, we call it a mixer tour. Okay. You can purchase individual seats. They're $40 a seat. And again, those are two-hour cruises as well. Yeah. So I would cool. totally do this. Even if it's just you by yourself or with one other person. Are you going to come I drink mean, by yourself? I mean, but it doesn't seem as <laughs> awkward because you're like, you're you pedaling, yeah. you're, you're drinking, be your, being your own drink, right? Yeah, it's being your own be. drinks. Yeah. You got to earn cool. your beer coolers. Provide the ice and stuff like that. See what I'm saying? They got tunes. You can just plug in your whatever you select and stuff like that. Uh, does it stop or is that pedaling the whole time? Do you guys like 
jump into the water. Yeah, so it's, it's basically what you guys want to do. Um, okay. We can, you guys can pedal, cruise around the whole entire time, get a nice workout in. Again, if you guys want to just kick back, we can cruise you around the bay, or if you just want to pull up in the middle, we can turn everything off, set up the ladder, and you guys can jump in, swim, and enjoy the beautiful San Diego weather. I love sure it. for our bathing suits. I know. <laughs> it is October. <laughs> Next time, for right? sure. Right? The water looks pretty. It might not feel pretty. Right? Yeah, I right jumped now. in the ocean last night. It's like 64. So, yeah, it's a little chilly. Yeah, but yeah. Chilly. Bay's always a little warmer. Yeah. Okay, cool. And then that's the thing, too. So, sometimes we think about these type of things during the summer. What is it like in the fall, winter, year round for you in this? I mean, it, again, it just kind of accommodates groups of all kind. You, you can build up your sweat, you know, get, get warm, pedal in here. Um, also, or if you just want to bring some warmer clothes in the winter, it, you can enjoy this year round. Uh, in the summer, it's obviously beautiful. You get to jump in the water. Um, year round, though, people are brave. They jump in the water all the time. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> Fam families, obviously, whatever yeah. you kind of. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, no, no age limit restriction. Okay. Yeah, there's, uh, you know, we've had infants on board. They stole the uh, car seats up front. Parents are paddling. Having a good time. Okay. Yeah. And this is Sail Bay where we are? Or? Yeah, this is the Sail Bay portion of Mission Bay. Yep. Okay. Because I feel like we can probably like see you guys' neighborhood, right? Like you live around there over here. I literally live right there. So, yeah, right near Fannywell Park. I mean, okay. it's such an awesome spot. I mean, you can't beat it. You have the boardwalk all the way around. I mean, it's just such a fun atmosphere and to be able to be on the water. Yeah. Do this. I love that it's either family friendly or it's like you and your homies or me and my girls can have like a good time. <laughs> I like it. Yeah. Yeah, really anybody can enjoy this boat. You know, we got a lot of bachelor, bachelorette parties, little kid birthday parties, retirement parties, uh, sales incentive parties, you know, corporate events, just kind of, yeah, can accommodate folks of all kinds. Okay. I mean, the really cool part about it is you can enjoy it year round, which is totally cool. Obviously, we're kind of transitioning into fall, yeah. so it's a little cooler. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, Mission Bay is awesome. Yeah, and this is the whole like center, right? Like a sports center, or like what is this area called? Well, so the where Paddle Pub operates out of is a facility called Mission Bay Sports Center. They okay. offer, they're your one-stop shop to water recreation. They've got the sailboats, kayaks, jet skis, paddle boards, any kind of thing you could think of. And then they've actually uh, subleased and partnered with companies such as ours, Paddle Pub, Hot Tub Cruise In, they've got the Sea Breachers, they've got scuba dive companies. You go out, have fun on the Paddle Pub, get back to the dock, jump on a jet ski, get out there. Um, again, just kind of Mission Bay Sports Center, one-stop shop for your water recreational needs. Um, and they've, they've you know, done a great job with partnering with companies to bring in very unique features such as Paddle Pub that can get you out on the water in a one-of-a-kind, one uh, unforgettable experience. Yeah, these are very unique but very like, is there's just so, you automatically know you're gonna have fun. You're not like, oh, is, does that sound fun? It's like, yeah, you're paddling on the water and you're drinking. Like, <laughs> and you got there's whatever, not, yeah. yeah. How can you not have fun? <laughs> exactly, and I love how San Diego is like year round living, right? Sun and the fact that we can do all of this year round is crazy and exciting, like holiday party. You might have a holiday party there on this go. thing. <laughs> So you were mentioning also to the hot tub, right? That would be? Yeah, so as the weather's turning, you know, it's perfect hot tub weather in San Diego, you know, 50s, 60s. And uh, so uh, we also operate the hot tub cruising boats out of Mission Bay Sports Center. Uh, those ones you rent out yourself, uh, rent out the whole entire boat. It's got a hot tub on there, barbecue, nice sound system. Um, it's a really great, fun, again, very unique way to get out on Mission Bay, just like Paddle Pub. Yeah, yeah. I can tell you're passionate about it. the hat. You bet. Shows, shows oh, hey, passion. The hat. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but I yeah. mean, think about that. So it gets chilly at night. You're enjoying, you're hanging, you're barbecuing with family and friends and stuff like that, and you're sitting in a hot tub on the bay. Yeah. Then SeaWorld oh. fires up their fireworks. Oh, yeah. You're watching fireworks ah. on the bay from a hot tub. That's a great call. Heck yeah. <laughs> We're I'm down, right? Yeah, January do birthdays. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, We're going to be here. Go. You got it. <laughs> Well, awesome, Taylor, man. What a great day. Yeah, it was really a beautiful appreciate day. Thanks for coming out. Really hey, appreciate thank it. Thank you. No We're going to make Mark awesome. paddle us back. Yeah. Let's go. Get, us back. get, get it, Mark. <laughs> Come on. Get to paddling. Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. You got to put the hat on. There you go. He's the, He's the captain now. Right. Right. I'll help you out a little on this one. <laughs>